State election officials say that they are still seeing record-breaking turnout for early voting for a second day. Fox News' Eric Perry talked one-on-one -on -one with the Secretary of State's office, COO Gabriel Sterling. He's live outside the state capitol to tell us what officials are saying on this second day of early voting. Eric? Yeah, Courtney, Tom, we asked, where is this excitement coming from? Mr. Sterling says it's from both sides, Republicans and Democrats who just want to come out and let their voices be heard. He said one thing is clear. This election here in Georgia is safe, secure, and fair. Excitement. So much excitement. Sometimes I go on the election day and it's just crazy at the polls, so I rode by, they had it available, there was no line, so I took advantage. Well, we knew it was going to be a record yesterday. The sheer volume of the record was an absolute surprise. Secretary of State's Office Chief Operating Officer Gabriel Sterling says as of Wednesday morning, nearly 90,000 people have cast their votes on the second day alone. If you count absentee and early votes, we are nearing 430,000 people in early voting. Sterling says the excitement, it's coming from both sides. In 2020, we had the most secure election in the history of Georgia. In 2022, is more secure than that. In 2024, it's going to be more secure than that. I know that because we have people, processes, and policies in place. The state has invested in new technology. It makes it easier for the in and out process. And so far, no major issues. Some user error here. One machine goes out over there. I mean, the typical kind of things when you're deploying, you know, hundreds and thousands of machines across 159 counties with, at this point, you know, nearly 500,000 different users. Sterling says despite what you see on social media, there's no way to tell who's leading so far in Georgia. It's ultimately up to the voter to make the decision of when, where, and how to vote. But you have a lot of time left, but don't let it get away from you. I didn't want anything to happen. I'm that day that I was not able to get in to vote, that would not have been good for me. Those we found voting early Wednesday say they aren't surprised at the turnout. Given the climate of how everything is going, I feel like people are eager to get out and go ahead and put on paper who they want to be in office. Yeah, Fulton County also setting records as well. 39,000 people about on the first day of voting alone. Compare that to the 2020 election, where it was around 19,000. And then back in the 2016 election, it was around 14,000. Another reason to get out and to vote early. You stop those text messages and calls as soon as you cast your ballot. Outside the Capitol, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News. My goodness, if there's anything that can encourage you to vote early, Eric, to stop those text messages. <laughs> That is one reason. Eric, thanks.